On to our eighth bout of the afternoon. Introducing first into the red corner, Gabriel Evans. This is another fighter from uh, Rising Crane, so the traditional martial artists turned MMA fighters. And uh, the Rising Crane guy earlier, he won with a submission, so maybe this will be a, a pattern for the Rising Crane guys with their, I know their, their head instructor works under the tutelage of Braulio Estima. So we can see some good grappling, but they've also got that traditional martial arts background, some, some punching, some kicks. We're seeing they can mix it up. Yeah, we're just getting a little bit of insight earlier there from the referee about that decision from Callum Abel. He was just giving us a little bit of insight into the straightness of Michael Hughes's arm there and a couple of those armbar submissions. And to the referees, the most paramount thing is the fighter's safety. And our referees just told us that because of the pedigree of Michael Hughes and his tutelage under under Wallhead, it, he was he was allowed to he was allowing it to go when he when some of his judgment told him he might want to call that fight. So well done to the referee and uh, great to have a safe, rather sore Michael Hughes. And our referee here, this is the same referee that works on Bama. This is the same referee that works on all those big shows. We are talking a ballerina, but they don't skimp on safety. We get the best refs, the best medics. You know, everyone here is quality. Now this is a Talking to the refereeing, this is a B-class fight, which means no ground or pound, but also, I was talking to the refs earlier, and they see B-class as an introductory level fight. So, they don't let the fight go quite as far as they would in an A-class, because it's probably slightly less experienced uh, fighters. Oh, Gabriel Evans looks mean. Let's see what, the, what kind of mug Reese Smith has on. Gabriel's looking super focused. Very broad guy, looking powerful. Snarling. Love it. So this is Reese Smith and he's from Knott's MMA up in Nottingham. I can't believe this is my old weight class. These kids look so small. This is and 70 kilos. It's a it is lightweight weight category. And these these lads are not necessarily cutting weight for this. They're probably walking around very close to that weight or even a little bit under it. So you're seeing guys that when they turn pro will have the choice of either going down to featherweight or even dare I say bantamweight with how much weight people are cutting at the at the uh, higher levels. But at this kind of an event, they can they can walk around their natural weight, and you're getting you're getting to see folks the real performance of these guys, not dehydrated, not dieted to the point of starvation. They are in perfect working order. And uh, not MMA is under Paul Lukowski, and he is a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu brown belt. So you know that he's getting some good instruction on his grappling, and uh, it's a real it's a great mixed gym. They really work every aspect of the game, and uh, I think they're affiliated to Alliance. Or Jiu-Jitsu as well, so it's going to be very interesting to see where if this fight stays on the feet or if we become more of a grappling match. First, the fighter in the red corner, weighing out 69.2 kilograms, fighting out of Rising Crane, Gabriel Evans. Gabriel looking super focused, throwing combinations in the camera. He's got the crazy eyes. And his opponent, the fighter in the blue corner, weighing 69.1 kilograms. Fighting out of Nottingham, MMA, Reese Smith. And Reese looking a little bit more relaxed, kind of comfy. I've always, personally, when I fight, I've always favoured kind of being more relaxed in there, and not having the crazy eyes going. Yeah, cage closed. The judge is ready. Boom, the leg kick. Oh, two leg big right kicks. Kick and, oh. and an answer right. And Reese comes ru running in, looking for the takedown. Both goes fighters below the belt now. Big, big takedown now. Oh, a massive slam. I don't think he's done any damage with the slam, but it does take it out. He can win you. He's now keeping his head pushed up against the cage. Now, because this is a B-class fight, you won't see any ground and pound to the head. So it becomes more of a more of a grappling match. Who can stand up or who can work for submissions? But this will be where it's so much more important for Reese Smith to look to either pass to pass the guard if that's what the trail of thought he's got where he's going to look for a submission, or to just back out and allow the fight to go standing but Gabriel Evans came out with a serious chain of punches and kicks there at the very beginning. A rear leg kick into a teep. What a brilliant little little technique there. I'm really interested to hope and hope that this fight gets standing again to see if see how they'll match up in a little bit more of a calm, striking situation. And I can't see either fighter really trying to do much on the floor right here. Kind of, uh, Reece Smith is just keeping his head in his chest. Doesn't seem to be trying to look to pass. And Gabriel just seems to be quite happy just to kind of throw a bit of ground and pound for the bottom. We might see the ref stand this up. Yeah, you can see some. You can see the tenacity in Gabriel Evans there as he's still trying to land punches even from the guard. 
which, while very annoying, does not necessarily hurt that much, nor can it finish a fight. This is not like UFC tap out too. No. For me, with these B-class fights, I would be really trying to look for those submissions, look to, look to pass that guard, posture up, maybe get back to standing so we can improve position and look for those submissions. At the moment, those little body shots and those gloves are possibly wasting just a bit of energy that you might need later on, especially from the bottom of guard. That's a very unusual thing to be trying to hit the body from the bottom of guard. It maybe shows a little bit that, you know, you could do with kind of improving, working on things, being brave and opening that guard, maybe looking for sweeps, looking for submissions. It's yeah, said that just as Reese Smith lands a thunderous right hand to, to the solar plexus of Gabriel Evans. And like you're saying, Chris, it's just, it's really just comfort there in the cage. If, if this is just excitement, this is sheer excitement, throwing those punches into the body there, hoping that there, one of them is going to do the damage that will lead you to that, to that victory. Victory is made in small steps, inch by inch, and both of these fighters are trying to gain the upper hand, but in a position where they're not necessarily going to do much damage. And Reese Smith's coaches are really shouting at him to try and pass and really improve position and not just mix up his body shots, but maybe he's a little bit nervous of getting caught in uh, submissions. But it's hard to hurt someone to the body when they're on the ground like that because they're all crunched up anyway. They're, they're keeping all that core very tight as opposed to if you're stood up, you might not necessarily have those muscles tensed as you're getting hit. Yeah. Gabriel Evans looking to swivel his hips there a few times, might be looking to attack or just get a higher... A a higher age as Reese Smith postures up to land some more punches. Oh, very no, quick on the plat for transition, but no, and then look for a leg. I'd like to try that maybe early in the round. It seems that like he heard the clacker for the 10 seconds and then went for a submission, which let's give us some time to work. End of the first round there. Hopefully both fighters can, can calm down, have a little bit more of a presence of mind for their techniques and try to land a few a few more standing, now, or even on the ground, look for transitions and submissions. It's very hard to score that because you know, Reese was definitely on top, and I guess you could you could, could score that that he's controlling, but he wasn't really trying to improve position. He didn't seem to be trying to get any uh, transitions out of it. And then the same for Gabriel on the bottom. He was seemed quite happy just to hold his guard closed and throw some punches. You know, if he wants to get a stand up, wrap up the guy's arm so he can't do anything. Don't just sit lay there swapping body shots. Equally difficult to score, isn't it? Because there wasn't enough action in that, whereas some of the earlier fights we've had this evening at Battle Arena have had some real fever and pitch action. And they're hard to call because they're so back and forth, whereas this one was a bit stagnant there in the middle. And let's see if these two fighters can give us a little bit more here in the second round. I did enjoy the, the brief bit of stand-up we saw in the first round, so hopefully see that again, that those two big thunderous right kicks. We always start there, don't we? That's one of the nicest things about MMA. We start standing, they touch and oh. both go for kicks. <laughs> Reese, Reese going high, double right kick, but I think his fingers came out of the glove. So the, these gloves have got a little bit more padding than a normal MMA glove, but it doesn't mean your fingers can occasionally slip out. Reese Smith going for the high kick, high head kick there, which just glanced off of Gabrielle Evans and goes for another switch kick there. Gabrielle Evans answering, ba answering back in kind. I think Gabriel's got a little bit sharp on the striking, but Reese knew that he controlled him in the first round on the grappling and is looking to take it back to that. He had a big takedown, he's trying to repeat that as well. Yeah, here I'd like to see Gabriel Evans just sit back and possibly try to get the hands a little bit higher on his hips so he wouldn't be eating that takedown, but now he has. Look, Gabriel was he's gone back to the same position that we had in the first one. And this often happens in fights, so you just end up exactly where the, the kind of neutral position is. And this time I'd like to see a bit more action. Maybe the ref will press them because he knows what happened the first round and not a lot was going on. Yeah, that's up to the referee's discretion here. We get into the comfort zone of the second round with Reese Smith again on top, having landed a, th a thunderous takedown. But Gabriel Evans looking frantically to get something working off of his back. He's not opening the guard. He's not looking to swivel the hips as much as... Yeah, I'd like to see him playing a little bit of open guard. He's, you see there, he got the angle because he opened his feet, put a foot on the hip and moved. That's what I'd like to see him do, especially with his head in that cage. It really limits his movement. Let's see him trying to push off or get his back against that cage and stand up. I don't want to, you know, it's not necessarily a smart strategy just to throw punches from the bottom. The, the judges aren't going to score you that you're winning the round, especially because you got taken down. You know, the judges are probably going to be giving this to uh, Reece Smith at the moment. And uh, Gabriel's looking sharp in the striking, so I want to see him get back to the feet, throw those big right kicks again, get some combinations going. Oh, it looks like he's. Uh, Reese Smith is now actually trying to work a bit of a pass. 
Oh, he's quite happy to keep his head in his chest. And this would be so different if we were doing ground and pound to the head. If we were doing A-class rules, this would be much more of a, a win for Reece Smith. But with his just body shots, and he has been proved position now. He's stepped over, he's gone to half guard, and he gets to... This is an improvement position. He's looking for Mount, and he's done a really good job stepping through from half yeah, guard to Mount. Into it. He lands a couple punches. Is he thinking about the face? He's not yeah, allowed to hit the that's head. That's probably why... This fight has been allowed to go on so long on the ground is actually these B-class rules, like you were saying earlier, favor the jiu-jitsu. And we get a lot, a lot more of that jiu-jitsu element there, so referees are inclined to let it go a little bit longer on the ground. He's trying and to set up an arm triangle there, trying to push the elbow so he can isolate that arm. But uh, I think he's giving it away just a little bit. Yeah, Reece Smith looking to sink in a submission here in mount position, the best position he's been in this whole entire fight. And, and really the defining moment of this round so far, him passing into mount. If, if you were doing a fight under these rules where you couldn't hit the head, would you go to mount or would you stay in side control? Probably go to mount to, to try, to, try to get those elbows high and look for, the, uh, look for S mount, but that's where it's at. I think I'd be looking for uh, maybe to keep it in side control so you can be a bit more active, you can uh, set up those transitions. When a guy's got, you know, when he's sat on him in mount, he's just going to keep his arms safe and all he's got to do is worry about that. But... Gabriel Evans walking to his corner. He was the thing that you haven't thought, or the thing that we haven't thought about when it comes to Gabriel Evans right there is that in the mount in those last 30 seconds of the round, he was fighting frantically just to get out of that position, and that's going to cause him a little bit of fatigue there at the end of the second. And as I saw him walking to his corner, he was holding his side a bit, so very possibly some of those body shots might have just snuck through and are giving him a little bit of trouble. But again, we're going to start standing in this third round, and maybe there'll be some little flare of action. That can and offset I think this fight. We might see a, a slightly desperate Gabriel Evans. You know, he's. I think he knows he's lost the first two rounds. Big takedowns, control and position. I'd like to see him come out, doing everything he can to stay on those feet and land those big kicks and big punches. It's all there, isn't it? It's all time. Here we go. And if I was in uh, Reece Smith's corner, I'd be telling him, take him down, do the same thing again, because you're winning this fight. Yep, don't do anything different. But... We start standing again, and the fever pitch is going to come from Gabriel Evans' corner. He better be able to dig deep and find something. They both don't go to the head again. So it's a bit predictable with that kick. He's loading up on it. He's yeah, too many tails. Oh, good leg kick there from Reese Smith. Gabriel looking to just faint with that lead jab. Oh, and great kick. heat, but he slipped on the mat. Oh, very unlucky not to be able to capitalize on that on that slip. Gabriel is really loading up. He's trying to finish this fight. Oh. And Reese doing the smart thing, getting back to the position where he's been dominant the whole fight. Not much of a sprawl game there from Gabriel Evans, and unfortunately that's what's really letting him down here. He wasn't able to get his legs back, wasn't swiveling the hips. He wasn't active enough when Reese Smith was looking to take him down, and that's why every time this evening Reese Smith has gotten him down and been able to do a little in what small damage he has done in the guard. And Gabriel Evans from uh, Rising Crane, which is it's more of a traditional school, and sometimes the tra traditional schools don't embrace the wrestling side of it quite as much as other schools you know they might look at judo or kind of a traditional martial arts approach to it and uh you know it, you're not going to learn to sprawl the same way shoot the same way and react the same way but we're back to this very traditional thing we've seen in this fight now we're just seeing some ground and pound to the body head in the chest kind of stalling his way through the fight but he's definitely winning and he's controlling reese smith is going to be kicking himself that he didn't have this as an a-class bout He's definitely built all over for semi-pro or amateur A-class. He does have really good control. That head in the chest, pushing on his chin. He's and, a and just little spurts there, posturing up and, and raining down punches really quick. It's uh, yeah, it can be quite off-putting to, to anybody, that even somebody that's very good on the ground. So, oh, some, oh, a little bit of rubber guard attempted. He thought about it, but it's going to be so hard with your head in the cage. Because it changes the angle of your body because your neck's at an angle. It's very hard to bridge. It's very hard to get hip movement. And a lot of fighters don't, they don't have a cage at the gym, they don't get to train it, and they, they neglect working, getting angles, standing up on the cage. It's all really important skills in MMA. And it's so painful there in the cage, that's for sure, with your head going into the, into the, the struts and everything of the sort that are tying it all together. And even trying to get your back on the cage to stand back up can be a painful endeavor. But, but Gabriel Evans needs to do this. The referee's looking very closely, and there is an argument for a stand-up because both fighters are moving, but ooh, that's, that's going to change things. Great pass to side control. Gabriel went for that Kimura, but it was a little bit of a lackluster attempt. And a Reese capitalized, stepped over and got to Dang side it. control. But Gabriel's done a great job of recovering, and now he's got a single butterfly hook. Reese but couldn't make it stick there. He needed to drop his hip down when he was in side control and try to crush, the d crush that space 
which Gabriel Evans used to get back into, into guard. And now he's in half guard, just slowing the pace of this fight down, not allowing Lee Smith to even have a look in at a finish. I think maybe Gabriel Evans, it's not always a good strategy, but when he was in that guard position, could have closed him down, held onto those wrists, and would have just let the rest stand it up so he would have had a shot of throwing some big shots to win the fight. Yeah, cage craft is, is important. It's something that you get with you get with experience, and both of these lads now have three rounds of experience in their lives, and I'm sure it's gonna it's gonna shape them for their next fight. A lot of credit to both these fighters. The the striking looked really, really good. It's a shame we couldn't see a bit more of it. Um, Gabriel loading up on his kicks, just giving a few little tails, and you could see it coming. Uh, Reese, really good control from the top. Like the head, that head in the chest is so hard to deal with for the guy on the bottom because, you know, sometimes if someone's really trying to hurt you, they're really throwing bombs. There's space for triangles, there's space for movement, there's space to get out of the way. But if someone's kind of just picking shots, keeping their head in your chest, it makes it really difficult to get any action going and any movement. And your winner, by unanimous decision, from the blue corner, Reese Smith! Yeah. Please make some noise, I wonder what? Gabriel Evans! Reese! 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 So yeah, you come from a boxing background, but it's the best thing I wanted tonight for you. Yeah, yeah, that's it. So you, you, uh, Tony you chose the Charles from the board over at Night Man made for that. Yeah, I wanted, I was just trying to get that guy from Charles, but yeah, that's all it's going on. So we should have stopped tonight, complete fire, congratulations. Thanks for those again, you're a winner, Reese Smith.